Oh, is this silver? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because um, when you bite, like bite. You see how nice yeah. you're on those? And after many of you kept saying, go with black power chains or power bands, I finally did it. And I can say it's disgusting. So you guys are not going to be seeing this video of me changing my braces to black and getting actually teeth bumpers because I'm going to show this in the next appointment video. This is the thing. So I work for an orthodontic office now so that like I can get free service. I'm still paying for the one that's in Indiana. So they were saying actually that my lower fives, both of them need to be stepped up, which is not the best sign to hear because that means that they're just not touching. They shouldn't have taken those blue spacers out in the back. So there's that problem. Well, that's according to them. And this is what I was saying is that every single orthodontic place is going to have some sort of different treatment and no one's going to have the same plan and not and know the same knowledge or have the same idea so i went with black because you guys were like oh my god let me get black or go with black well i got black this time it's not as bad as i thought it would be not my favorite color though but you can see these are the bumpers so you can see that's pretty bad if i'm touching the bumpers it's bad so we'll see if this really changes anything i hope it doesn't because if it does then uh we're in trouble but we have realistically like two and a half weeks left until the next orthodontic appointment for me and flying back to indiana for that so i hope within two weeks nothing changes here because if it does then oh god this is the exact reason why i say just stick with one orthodontist. Don't transfer anything because you're probably gonna have a different result than what was expected. And oh boy, was I right. A few days after this happened, I started noticing a bunch of shifting, not only on the top jaw, but also the bottom. Well, enough of that. Let's go to Indiana and check out what I hope to be is my last braces appointment ever. So I have completed the payment for the braces. That's huge. Spent a lot of money, but it's done. It had to be done either way. So I was just like, screw it. So today was kind of more the fixing of the minor mistakes. Now, I don't even say minor mistakes. I'd say the minor details that I wanted to be fixed. So for instance, my canine, some teeth up here in the front, and then the teeth up here. We're not 100% sure that my braces are going to come off. They would like them to come off, but if I'm not satisfied with them, then they won't come off next visit. There's a potential chance that this isn't the last time I'm coming for a braces adjustment, but I'm really hoping that it is. As you can see, this is what it looks like right now, and it, it does look a nice. It, it looks really nice. Regular wire on top, again, got some steel wires on different teeth. I believe it was three and four, and then as well as three over here on the right side. So... The right side has still wire, three and four, and then only three on the left side. Rubber bands are still the same thing of four and four and six and three. And then here I got another TMA wire just because they want to do the simple fixes. But other than that, oh God, guys, the smile's looking absolutely divine. All right, guys, we're almost done with this. I cannot be more excited and happy that this is happening. You have no idea how much I hate braces, but it's been doing me so much. Got a better smile, fixed TMJ, gotten more views on YouTube, gotten more subscribers on it. It's had nothing but positive impacts. It's just, I hate the process of it. Now, if you'll notice too, I saw the chip on my tooth here. I just really decided that it'd be best to fix that the last visit. That way they don't have to keep on fixing it because honestly, it's like, I still have braces on, so when I don't, that's a different story. But since I still do, I'm like, yeah, just just don't even worry about it right now. We'll just get it on the end. Okay, so since there wasn't much of a change in like anything for this video, which I'm sorry about, but you know, sometimes you have those moments where like it doesn't happen. I'm gonna prank my parents and saying that I got my braces off already and paid the rest of my bill. One of those is true, the other one is obviously not. So I'm gonna try and do it without grinning and smiling because obviously there's only a certain amount of space that I can handle that. And then you can see the braces. Let's do it. I actually got my braces off. Huh? Got my braces off. <laughs> Man, he didn't play that whatsoever. See, I told you guys they wouldn't believe it. I told them one thing. I had to keep like the smirk down. I was trying to talk and she could see my lips. So anyways, it is what it is on that part and getting them off. Now this video is not ending now. It's actually gonna end in Colorado. So basically I'm gonna update you guys if I feel any pain in whatever tooth and then show you guys the difference and really be on track with this video on how the progress is as well. So this isn't just a matter of a changing, this is a matter of the progression of the change as well as the change 
and seeing the difference with the change. Capish. A really cool thing about this time is that you can actually see the bends in the TMA wire, which I have on the bottom still. She wanted to say hi. And this is what gives your teeth the detail corrections. So if you're curious, that's what a TMA wire looks like. They're the most expensive wire orthodontists can place in your mouth, but for good reason, because they correct so much fine detail. Again, orthodontics works in the millimeters and so does all the dentistry, but specifically more so orthodontics. I'm very happy that they're doing such a great job with this stuff. Now they are stepping up the lower fives, which means my canines, because you can see they're not really touching that well. But the smile looks great, bite's amazing, Team J's gone, I'm happy. But if you guys were wondering, this color is actually called lavender. So I've had teal, black, pink, what else have I had? I've had a lot of really cool colors, and lavender is probably one of my favorites. That and teal. Teal just pops. Doesn't make your teeth look bad. Lavender, the only thing I'm a little worried about is because it's such a light color, it could get some staining from coffee or something. You can't fix that with rubber. So I had to move downstairs to a quieter, less chaotic place because we are moving out of this house permanently now. But something that I want to mention carefully here is that when you guys saw I had rubber bumpers on my front anterior teeth here, the bottom rows, those were for old school orthodontics. Turns out, which I didn't know this, but the rubber bumpers are helpful in some circumstances. They're frequently prone to staining. So if you eat ramen, for instance, or if you drink a lot of coffee, espressos, anything that's super strong and that's prone to staining, they stain super easily. Now, the cool thing is, is that for modern orthodontics, if you guys remember the first couple episodes that I did of having this whole braces construction treatment thing, you guys realize that I had blue spacers or blue like blockers in the back molars. Those essentially are the new and modern way of getting your teeth to not break off brackets. And that's essentially what both are meant for. It's just one's more modern than the other. Now, a part of me is saying that my right canine is just not going to get fixed. Now, you can see it's a little off center, so it's throwing the other tooth off. I just have a gut feeling this won't be fixed during what was supposed to be the last visit. Hey, you know what's weird? I just take a picture in a whole video of both the maxillary and the mandibular jaws and they actually look really straight the only thing is is that i can literally feel the mesial part of this tooth right here but i can't on the other one but they look straight like stupid straight at least the, the maxillary does the mandibular one is uh i definitely think there could be some correction okay so a couple hours have passed not great things were happening because it seems like this tooth here my front tooth the distal side or the one that is actually facing more towards the back of my mouth rather than the front of my mouth it seems like it's facing more lingual which to me isn't good but then on the bottom it's kind of the same thing so tomorrow i actually have yet another orthodontist appointment and this time it's to make sure that this is correct because i definitely want this month to be my absolute last month in braces now there's no hate that if it isn't because i do want this to be perfect so that's this thing that i keep mentioning in every video keep asking questions make sure that everything is as perfect as you want it to be no matter how uncomfortable braces might be or how ugly braces might be i don't know if i've said this but my left side actually wasn't hitting correctly and it wasn't giving the correct bite but it's just because of extra glue that was actually on the bracket so we got that taken care of because all you had to do was shave some of the glue and now i got a perfect bite what they're also doing is stepping up lower fives which means the canine so essentially i'm gonna have my bite be corrected just a tad bit more. It is now time to go to the second appointment to see if really the braces are doing something for my teeth and I'm just not noticing it or there really is something going on wrong. So I'm gonna be real honest, not much of a difference in terms of anything, except for the fact of underneath the power chains. Power chains underneath have different steel ties and different locations just because he did agree that the distal part of my 10th tooth was facing more lingual. And then my canine on the bottom, my lower five, was actually still pointing out that way. So in all hopes, I'm worried about the canine more than anything. And I'm hoping that after this month, it is fully straight. And if it's not, then I guess we do go another month. It is what it is. So it's the next morning and I'm in a Chevy Tahoe right now. I actually love this car, but that's besides the point of this video. I want to give an update on how the teeth feel and how the teeth potentially look right now, even though looking is not going to be that well. So I could do it when I get home. So first things first, my teeth look amazing. They look straight, they look corrected, everything feels good. I still got my rubber bands in for from the night. So for those of you who are wondering like, oh my God, why don't you wear your rubber bands anymore? Those are only because I'm supposed to wear them only at night. So eight hours of the night, 
not during the day, which is huge because during the day, it does get quite annoying when you're trying to eat food. But I want to give you an in-depth review of this. So here, first off, they look really straight on the top. I did have a little bit of pain and I still kind of have a little bit of discomfort, but it's nothing to be like, I can't eat. Then this is the bottom. Everything is so straight. It feels good. I'm not complaining. I think the last thing is just to fix this tooth again to like have the flow and the bondo and stuff. And bam. But without further ado, I will see you guys in Colorado and give you another update if that's the case. As you can see, not every tooth is completely the same size. So this ultimately is throwing in distortion. I don't think you're gonna be able to ever see this on camera, but this canine here is still having its distal side. It's still facing more lingual than what I feel like it should be. So let me know in the comments down below, do you think this should be my last month or do you think I should really wait one more whole month just to fix this one tooth?